And even though Puerto Rico is miles away, Suncoast residents are stepping up to help. ABC 7's Bo Beth Yates has more on the efforts underway across our area. From the loss of power to the loss of their personal belongings, the island of Puerto Rico is still dealing with the aftermath of Hurricane Maria. But right behind me, a collection is underway to get those people the items that can get them back on track. I bought medical stuff, um, medications, um, band-aids, uh, diarrhea medication, a leave. Londa Martin was among the many dropping off items at the Bradenton Puerto Rico Relief Collection site. The move comes after Hurricane Maria's Category 4 winds ravished the island and left more than 3.4 million people without power. I feel that um, it's desperate for them and for me because we, can, we want to do more but we can't right now. So I feel very um, with my hand like this because we don't, we can't do more. Puerto Rican native Lorna Garcia says after days of no communication, she finally made contact with her friends and family back home. She says hearing they were okay made her happy, but hearing the details of their circumstances broke her heart. It inspired her to join forces with several other locations throughout Tampa Bay to gather as many supplies as possible for those devastated by the storm. Right now I said, oh God, how can I help them because I don't have all the money. So Garcia's church, the first church of the Nazarene, agreed to open its doors to donations. Puerto Rico is our neighbor and uh, we have the responsibility to love and embrace and help in all the way we, is possible. With the help of the National Guard and several other churches, the items being collected at the First Church of the Nazarene will be shipped to the island Friday. Remember that we are power in Puerto Rico right now. They don't know how long they will stay without power. So we try to help. Collection for the Puerto Rican relief effort will continue through Thursday, 9 p.m. Officials are asking for everything from food to clothing and even cleaning supplies. Bobeth Yates, ABC 7, your Suncoast News.